to be sung. Today, as we begin this new program year, as we celebrate the potential of our children and the gifts of our congregation, let us know that we stand in the middle of this community as a place to wrap our arms around all people, the people who are having the best times of their lives and the people who are going through the worst times of our, their lives. We are here for a reason, a reason to help God be co-creators in the unfolding of life's journey. I guess I would ask every one of you to be sensitive to what is going on around you, to the people you work with, your neighbors, your circle of friends. And if someone is going through one of those times in life that is a tragedy for them, an awful time, offer your warmth, your care, your understanding. And if they're too proud to receive it in that moment, don't be turned off. Give a little space, then go back and try again. God needs your hearts, your minds, your hands to extend God's care. May you find yourselves in that role of co-creator doing God's caring work. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we ask that you would be with us today. You are so mindful of our lives, of even our thoughts. Fill us with a strength that is necessary for the living of our lives. Help us, God, to be your people in a world that is filled with not only blessing, but horrible times. Help us, God, to be your people who reach out and sustain the gift of life that you have given us. We ask your blessing today upon our children as they learn together upon all of our youth activities as we begin a new youth ministry season with our junior highs and senior highs. We ask your blessing upon this faith family that we might be honest and recognize the challenges in the world, that we will be with your people no matter who they are or where they are that we will extend your love. And now we say the prayer you've taught us to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Something else that is happening in our church family this fall is a season of generosity. How we volunteer and give our time, our talent, our treasure, and one of the inserts in the bulletin this morning talks about paying it forward, doing the good deed, and something we will begin later in September. We have received some private donations of $50 each, and we will be pulling names out of a hat and asking the person whose name is pulled out 
to take $50 and do something good with it. You might see someone at Walmart who's looking like they could really use the $50. You might know of a cause that you really want to support that could use the $50. And then we are hopeful that that act of generosity and the interaction that you have as you are generous may cause you to come back and talk about that. Talk about the moment when you opened your heart and shared that gift. Because the world will only change as we are generous with our lives. Let us worship with our offering.